and guys this is my android head unit and this is the play store and let's look at car dash droid car information i have no idea what is this let's install this it looks like it's a um, dashboard which comes with infotainment or entertainment and information i don't know let's see what it is okay let's open it This is how it looks like. Welcome to Car Dash Droid. Okay, just press get started. And permission is needed. Permissions are needed for this. Next. Oh, it looks good. So I have to swipe the screen left to right to access the dialer and shortcuts. Okay, cool. So I can swipe between screens. Press OK. This is a dialer. Oh, comes with the the sound as well. Not bad. And this shows the time, the weather. Great. Um, and it also shows how fast am I going. Whether I can on my Bluetooth or off my Bluetooth. Rotate the screen. Well, do I display uh, over other apps? Okay. And oh, anyway, this is not a phone, so I won't rotate it anyway. And this is what is full screen. Ah, mine looks good. This is night mode. Nice. And contact. Well, I don't have any contacts here. And music. Oh, not bad. It actually reads. It reads my USB drive, and it actually scan all of them. Not bad. Does it play? Yeah. Yeah, it does play. And there is a repeat and a shuffle function. Yeah, this is the shuffle function. Not bad. Okay, go back again. So it comes with a music player and navigation. Well, what's this? I wonder what navigation is this? This is Google Map. Well, I have no idea what they're using, but it looks like Google Map to me. Yeah, it is. Sorry. Google Map data. Yeah. So it actually uses Google Map yeah, for your navigation. Okay. Voice command. Hello. Okay. Well, it, it comes with voice command, the Google Assistant. Um, somehow I'm not using the premium version, so I get to see this advertisement here. But it's alright. Um, does it do anything when I click longer? Nope. Nope. But it's kind of cool yeah simple and easy to use and settings okay uh, premium get okay, premium and remove ads and I guess this is all the premium features yeah home button set on boot and so on so general I think I can do this uh, I can have the speed on km or mph speaker on call allow exit using back button yeah this is good uh, dialog before exit okay also shows my model startup options i can turn off the wi-fi when the app starts can keep it uh, the orientation lock if you're using some sort of tablet or phone to use i think this is good um, enable bluetooth auto launch only okay 
what else? Maps. I can set the location of my home and my work and also change the default navigation app to something else. Oh, this is good. Means I can use ways. This is nice, yeah. I can change. And uh, Google Map traffic. Well, I think it's optimized for Google Map. I think I just change it back to Google Maps. Yeah. So what else? Uh, so I can take this. So I can avoid highways, tolls, or ferries. Yeah, this is the settings for Google Maps. And voice. Well, text and chat app settings. Interesting. Chat apps. So I can enable. Oh, this is still in alpha. Due to third party limitation, the top. Reply might not work, but you can listen. Oh, good enough. So requires notification permission. Okay. Uh, car dash droid. Allow. Back. So basically, it will read out my chats, yeah, from WhatsApp, Facebook message, Telegram, and whatnot. Yeah, that's that's quite kind of cool. Uh, but this I think only happens if you have uh, WhatsApp on your Android head unit. But unlikely, very unlikely. Yeah, this is good if you have uh, Android phone, yeah, which is using this app. Then it will read out your chats for you but mine doesn't so I just disabled it okay now back again voice command so I can do this ok google voice activation oh it means when I do this okay still experimental so it might work it might not yeah uh, let me just on it One custom voice command keywords okay and I think these are all for the premiums when it's disabled, yeah? Yeah. So oh, I can change the theme. Dark or night. I think I can already see that just now. So these are the themes. Uh, manage UI screens. Change and delete screens from main UI. Um, actually, I don't need dollar, so I can just delete it, yeah? Uh, then I have the main screen and the shortcuts enough um, so I can actually add more shortcuts means yeah I think I just will have one for now that will be good enough for me to demonstrate never turn off the screen yeah it's okay I can always on it doesn't matter for me as long as my car is on only when clock yeah okay keep the screen on Outside the app, only the device is plugged to power. Show tree dot menu. Oh, it's like more like a shortcut, yeah. Automatic day and night UI. Oh, this is good. Means uh, by the sunrise, it will go to the day mode. Sunset, it will go to the night mode. Toggle button. Disable toggle buttons. Why? I just enable it. Screen saver. Never. I can change it to screen savers in maybe one minute just to take a look what is it and widgets what else you have widgets speedometer oh i can change it to music play controls instead of speedometer or i can change it to generic media control but this, this is still experimental i think i better not i'll just change it to music control uh, oh so i can have this along with the music control why not street name yeah i can en enable this so i can see what's the street name i'm at whenever i go display album art yeah enable compass let's look at the compass and also battery i think i don't need to see the battery uh, weather source yeah this is good this is celsius yeah i use celsius Okay, I think I've gone through all the settings. Pretty comprehensive, yeah, complete. So this is the compass, I believe, yeah. And okay, that's about it. Next, uh, I think this is the shortcuts. I think I've accidentally put in two area, uh, two earlier. I just simply put some. Um, 
the shortcut looks kind of big to me uh, I'm just putting in okay let's change this change shortcut uh, to kit music oh repeat the game so as uh, you did this um, play store not bad yeah big buttons you can see from very far away and it's simple simple to use navigation can change uh, music it's actually a built-in music player and this contact I don't really use it so uh, and my dialer oh dial is still here okay maybe I can change this use built-in contacts use custom app uh, nope I can't change it it remains to be there can I change this to something else nope okay so that's it um, thanks for watching and if you happen to uh, watch this video and you like it please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet you know please do subscribe i'll keep you guys updated with what's new yeah and what's the updates all about android hit units thank you and have a nice day bye